My name is Polly White, and I am the COO of Gather, the co-working spaces in Richmond and Hampton Roads. My husband and I actually were the founding partners of Gather. With some partners, we had purchased a building in downtown Richmond that needed a lot of renovation. We had the main floor, about 7,000 square feet, empty, and we didn't know what we were going to do with it. We were in Denver in 2013 on the inner city visit, and we saw this wonderful thing called co-working. And we said, first of all, we need that in Richmond for small business people that need a place to be able to have a professional meeting, a small office, an affordable place to be. And this could be a real good solution for 7,000 square feet of empty space. So we built a, um, a more than 20,000 square foot location up on Broad Street. We have one in Scott's Edition. We have a location in Shore Pump. We have three in the Hampton Roads area as well. We have a seventh location that is under construction that will be opening before the end of the year in Midlothian. Gather's strategy and our mission is to bring professional co-working to smaller cities. We look for areas that are walkable, that have amenities and, and um, entertainment that would be interesting to our members. Our third location was Short Pump in Glen Allen in Henrico County. And Short Pump was our first move into the suburbs. And I will tell you, um, Short Pump has been our most successful location, bar none. Before COVID, it was 100% full with a 65 person waiting list. Henrico was extremely welcoming and especially Henrico EDA was very responsive anytime we had any, any questions that we needed answers to or um, we needed to get in touch with the right person or when we were getting our final inspection for our certificate of occupancy, they were on speed dial that day, just making sure that everything went well so that we could make sure our members could move in on day one. We have hospital grade air scrubbers in our space, in our communal space that have HEPA 13 filters. I know more about air filters now than I have ever wanted to know. We have um, viricide, disinfectant that we use on all of our surfaces multiple times a day. We have um, a very strict mask policy. We've done all of these things, not only to make our members feel safe, but to keep our members safe. Gather housed several essential businesses. And so we felt like we couldn't close for that reason, that we had to give them a home. 90% of our businesses stopped coming in. It was such a drastic cutback. We kept all of our employees employed though. We continued to serve our members and reach out to them. One of the things that we found that we needed to do with our members and especially early on in April, May, and even June, um, we needed to work with some of our members that their businesses were severely hit we gave them um, concessions on their agreements with us, let them pause their membership for a couple of months and, and pick them up after things started to reopen. I still think it was the right thing to do for our members and, and it fit with our mission of supporting the small business community. I am hopeful that we um, find either good treatments for this or a vaccine and people can start coming back to work, kids can go back to school, and we can all get our lives back together. In the meantime, we're going to keep our members safe and um, make them a home at Gather, someplace where they can maybe get a little bit of safe social interaction um, and get out of their house for a few minutes, get away from the kids and the dogs. So what can we do? What, what kinds of business skills do you have? What other kinds of things could you maybe do and plan to bring in some revenue? In the meantime, how could we expand what you were doing before in order to pivot? How can we think about pivoting the services that you had so that now you can do things virtually that you used to do face to face? You know, nothing, nothing in life is ever guaranteed. 
you you have to be willing to you know take a deep breath cry for five minutes if you need to and and then you figure out what you're going to do next and if that doesn't work yeah try something else and if that doesn't work yeah try something else and you just keep putting one foot in front of the other 